Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing the second episode of my How to Build a Fish Room series. Basically, in this episode, we've got the aircon has just been installed, the whole room has been painted in the previous episode. Today, or well, I guess in this episode, what we're gonna be doing is we're getting the water tank, we're gonna build all the racks and hopefully get the tanks. I think the tanks might be in the next episode. So. There's a lot of like little nitty gritty things involved in building a fish room, um, plumbing, like electricity, all that kind of stuff. Basically, the electrical's been done today, um, but yeah, we're still waiting on all the tanks to be built and uh, finishing up on the stands and all that kind of stuff. But I'll quickly give you guys a look around at this place. Hopefully you guys are interested in seeing, I mean, the behind the scenes of what a fish room is. Obviously there's no fish yet, there's no tanks yet. So thank you for bearing with me and without any further ado, let's go have a look. So here is the room, as you guys can see, got a brand new aircon up here so this is going to be centrally heating this room we're still waiting on some insulation to be put up on the roof but as you can see too we've got some power put in so that's all there we've got some lighting up here that's going to fix stuff the whole room's starting to look a bit like a lab so basically all this power has been put in tomorrow morning we'll start building the racks very very early well i'm really looking forward to having all this stuff start coming together So really, really quickly, I'm pretty much, I've already built the stands. Um, I just realized that I didn't even talk about how they were constructed. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how they were constructed in case you guys wanna borrow my design. I think other people have used this design before, but um, basically because this video is on the stands, I'm gonna quickly show you the stands. So basically the stands are super straightforward. What we have here is where the edge of the tank sits, obviously. So we've got a piece making basically like a big frame. And then what that's supported by is these little studs underneath. So the studs on the bottom, there, 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 and up on the top too. Now that just adds additional support. And then what we have is these studs are nailed in as well as this frame into these sticks. So I've used, this is 100 mil by 3.5 mil to support these stands. So really, really simple. You guys can like pause the video and take a photo if you wanna borrow it, but should be pretty sturdy, I mean like it doesn't move too much and especially on these, you know, big, big stands, we've got no movement, so pretty happy with that. Okay, so it's now been like ages since the last time I recorded in this room and there's a few reasons for that. Basically, because I'm building this fish room in the middle of COVID, you know, COVID gives people <laughs> other issues other than, I mean, taking them out of work and stuff like that, which is horrible gives them a lot of time and you know what that means it, it means a lot of people get back into keeping fish and it means that it takes a lot longer for the aquarium builder to build all of the aquariums for this room so it's taken quite a few weeks but as you can see we finally got some stuff in here so I'm going to take you around the room really quickly and show you what's changed and uh, show you what I'm up to so as you can see it's a massive pigsty but we have built the stands they've all been painted the two foot aquarium, so the breeding rack and the you know baby rack is all done. So there's 45 aquariums here. We've done some of the irrigation. We've done some of the plumbing up top. So we had the plumber in a couple of days ago and he came in and put all this stuff. So basically there's little like latches so I can turn on and off certain sections of um, the room. So if you come over here, right, you can see that if I wanted to turn off this entire rack of tanks, and just do a water change on maybe that rack over there. I can just come over, flip this latch, and then that'll turn off the water here and give more water to these guys. Basically, this pipe is connected to the other garage with the water tank in there, and then the water tank gets pumped into here through this pipe, and yeah. As you can see, I've still got a little bit of pipe left to do. This has really been quite painful and tedious, 
because the pipes connect to each section of aquariums. So this rack of four, like well there's 12 aquariums here. So this rack of 12 is connected to this copper pipe, which leads to uh, an irrigation valve, which is like twisted on there. And then there's some irrigation line and then I've just punched in to the irrigation line and I've got to install some taps like you can see here. So the taps run down into each of the tanks and that's what fills them up. So we've got to do that. And then also we've got to do a little bit more plumbing. You guys can see the bottoms are drilled. So the tanks are going to get drained from the bottom. So I've got to do all the plumbing and you know, that's going to be pretty painful because I've got to punch through all this styro and figure out how I'm going to get all of it to come out this corner. So um, this is what the room's looking like at the moment. Uh, yeah, I mean, slow and steady. It's been a very, very long time, but we're almost there. So I've just done some more of the plumbing, but there's still like a ton of stuff to do. I didn't realize how much work this was actually gonna be with the plumbing. Um, I've kind of like put in a few more tanks and um, I'm gonna show you that now. But yeah, it's taking a really, really long time. So we've gotten a few more of these bottom tanks in. As you can see underneath, I don't know how good the video is gonna be. You can see they're all plumbed in. That one up the back is a bit dodgy, but we've got some of these done. I'm running out of time, I need to go edit this video and get it up so you guys can watch it tomorrow. But we're making progress, we're nearly there. Um, as you can see, there you go. So that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. In the next video, we're gonna talk a bit more about the plumbing and how the system actually works because this video is basically focused on the frames, but the frames are super, super simple. So this video is short. So I just came to getting you know the tanks put in and uh, doing some of the plumbing. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.